guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down Mississippi Queen by Mountain. Uh, also, if you're trying to get deeper into guitar, I have some free courses at my website you can check out in the links down there. Lots of good links. And uh, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the channel, so thank you for that extra support. Let's break it down. So we're in the key of E, blues rock and E starts with an opening lick that happens two times. <laughs> So that's five to seven on the E, and then five on the D, and then seven on the A, and that's the E minor pentatonic. So it does that lick twice, then it goes into this great lick. But there's a cool rhythm underneath that that's part of the rest of the song. So let's do that rhythm, then I'm going to show you that lick up here. So we play a B power chord, which is the 7th fret E string. But we're going to slide into it from the 5th fret. Wah na 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 na. Then you do the same thing, sliding from the 3rd fret. And then you do the same thing, but now to the 1 chord of the E blues, which is the E power chord which is the seventh fret A string. But there's little fill licks in between. So here's what we have so far. Second time. If you're the rhythm guitar, crapu cha cha. So there's these little fills there. Um, the lick, I think of it this way, the power chord, the, the E and A string of the power chord, and then the single note of that power chord on the D string. So, you know, it's all part of a power chord, but the lick, After I go back to the power chord, that's when I go to the, and so that's the uh, seven to the ninth fret on the D string, which is just right in that B blues over the B power chord. Like that. And then on this one, it doesn't go up, it holds on the fifth fret of the D string. So, like that. So, next we want to look at that lick way up here. So that's all in this opening lick is in the E major pentatonic, which works great in that bluesy way. Um, a lot of Southern rock uses that. So let me show you that lick. So the root of the E major pentatonic is way up here. So that's the 17th fret. You have the 19th fret on the B string, which is part of the scale. And that's the, the string that you bend. And then you also have that 19th fret high E with your pinky. So it starts with that 19th fret bend. You hit the high E and then you go back to that bend. Bend, bum, bum. Then on the G string part of that scale, is the 16 and 18th fret. So 18, 16, and then back up the scale. Ending on that root, which is the 17th fret. So. And then go back to the 16 on the G and go up again. and it releases to that B string again. 
and then you hit the B string singularly after that into the bend. So from the top of the lick, See how I hit it again, and then. So you do a very similar motif to the one in the beginning with the bend down. And then check this out. He goes a little bit right into that minor pentatonic at the end there. And so without having to change your uh, hand position, you're gonna hit that 18 on the G, 17 on the B, and then a really quick kind of flick off all the way to the minor third. And you slide it off, the 20th fret. So, uh, One more time, super slow. Most of the form now is following through a basic, kind of like an E blues but blues rock style. So you've got the E power chord. And then a, a new little fill lick, which is open E, and then that octave, which is the seventh fret. And if you were to look at a tab, I'd probably say like, you know, seven, five, seven, but it kind of goes back to, pedals back to that E. So. One more time, slow. Next lick is a, just a different fill, and it's a classic blues lick, so I'm doing it in the open position. You could do it in either spot, but it's the open E, pull off on the third fret, and then up, the, up to the octave, which could be the seventh fret of the A string, or right here on the second fret D. So I'm gonna do it in that open position. That's right, in the blue shred zone there. So. goes to A, and I'm sliding up from the third fret, just like before. And it's that same lick. Sounds like he kind of does more of an octave thing. I mean, he's it's blues rock. He's mixing it up a little bit, but it's basically the same thing. So you are on the four chord, which is the A power chord. And you can start it the same way as earlier, but then the second one, you fill just like the first one in the key of A. So that's just doing it on the A string, third fret pull off. And then the second fret G string. Same exact thing.
actually, it does a turnaround just like the intro. I uh, filled differently a second ago, but you know, you could do that, but I think it just like earlier. enjoyed the lesson uh, don't forget I have some free courses in the links down there and uh, appreciate you subscribing here to the channel uh, feel free to request stuff in the comments below as well and thank you again for hanging out hope to see you again real soon keep rocking